pen over here. Uh, so the pen is something honorable. Maybe you don't know like some of the culture, especially if I talk about Indo Park, if pen is like on the floor, we would take it out and keep it somewhere because this is a tool. Pen is a tool for writing it, right? We respect that so much. Now, e these days, if you are using smart board or something, even that thing, we're going to make it very respectable though because that's the tool we are using it. So here, that's what we learn. Pen is very important because the Quran is written with that, right? And before that, like the pen is something honorable and it, it was like, you know, the original copy. We have all, we have all have Quran, but the original copies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is called Lohel Mahfuz, was written with it and all good things are written. And, you know, when the... Uh, Prophet Sallallahu when the Wahi came, so revelation, there's, there's a huge detail of understanding that, you know, they, there's a ulumul uh, Wahi that we have to understand that. But we are just going to learn like Wahi is uh, through Angel Jibrail and the, he will come and, you know, there's the tell the which uh, revelation, how it was, and then the inscribers will be there who will be writing it down for Prophet And there was not a single change, not a haraka, you know. Uh, don't even uh, think like, you know, the mafatha kasra, not even a dart though. There is no change in it. So here we learn like uh, Abdullah Umar said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for things by his hands. You know, some of the things Allah created by hand. The throne, the pen, Adam al Islam, Jannatul Adan, and he said to the rest of the creation, Be and it be. Kun fire kun. That's it. So these are the things we learn. So the pen is one of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his own hand. So the first creation to be created after creating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to write. You know, it 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 asked, What should I write, my Lord? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed to write whatever that is decreed. It is called taqdeer. You know, when Laylatul Qadr comes, we, we say, we make dua, especially the last 10 nights, because the, the taqdeer, what's going to happen in our life. And when you make dua, Allah can change it. We all believe that, right? So the decree about everything until the last hour. So you might be thinking, you know, what is our last hour? When I die, that's my last hour. Uh, till the day of judgment, whatever the good deeds, like if I did anything good, that will be going on going, right? Or the righteous children, if somebody don't have that, whatever the good they are doing, right? They have two more things like Sadhkatul uh, Jariya and whatever they teach them. So meaning everything that is to happen, the angels, the Kiram and Katibin, they also write with the Qalam. They use the pen. The pen even... Pen even prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means pen do the sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and made sajda to Allah as so by the pen and whatever is written. Suratul Qalam Karrahim, Surah Noon. I'm going to say a little bit Urdu so that you know, Thoda Aunty Ji will be understanding it. So we are doing Suratul Qalam, Surah Noon and the first ayah pe hai bhi. We are just done the first ayah and still we are doing it. So Allah Ta'ala jo qasam ka hai, ek muazzas cheezon ki qasam ka hai. Aur wo uh, Surah Noon mein bata ja raha ke uh, qasam hai Noon ki. To yahaan par kya hai? Qalam ki baat ho rhi. Jo likhne wale hai. Aur koon likhe hai? Farishte. So the, the angels is uh, writing down. To uh, wo cheez baat ho rhi. Aur loh hai mehfuz, jo original copy hai, wo Allah Subhanahu Allah Ta'ala ke paas hai. Aur yahaan par bata ja raha hai, uske baat hi. Ma anta bi ni'mati rabbi ka bi majnoon. You are not by the favor of your Lord a madman. To bata ja raha ke nahi aap koi majnoon nahi hai. Aap Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam majnoon nahi hai. Kyun ye baat ho rhi? Try to understand the things. This is the scenario going on. Ke jo Makkah mein the persecution was so like intense and people are mistreating Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it wasn't easy though for him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consoling the heart of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So here the Prophet's heart is consoling the heart of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't worry, you are not a madman. 
अगर कोई लोग बोल रहे ओ दिस पर्सन इज फॉलोइंग सो मच इस्लाम इफ दे हैव बियर्ड इफ दे आर वेयरिंग द कैप इफ दे आर वेयरिंग दैट शलवार कमीज और द तोप दिस ओ दिस ब्रदर इज यू नो लाइक दैट प्रॉफिट सल्लाम ऑलवेज यू नो दिस से ओ दिस इज अ मैड मैन ही ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट कुरान एंड ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट गुड बिफोर यू रिमेंबर वेन ही वॉज नॉट अ प्रॉफिट दे यूज टू से सादी के नमीन trustworthy and they believe in it and now they change their scenario ma anta bi ni'mati rabbika bi majnun you are not by the favor of your lord a madman meaning like you know uh, actual in the uh, light of the ilm it is declared that you prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam are not majnun you are not a madman so you are not at all and then the following aya in aya number 3 it talks about indeed for you is a reward that is uninterrupted so allah subhanahu wa taala he is talking about each time any person you know recites the words of the quran hears it it memorizes it or worship allah subhanahu wa taala in any form lives as a muslim the reward of that goes to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam why because you know when the azan is going on after that we recite that dua is go to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i i heard that you know every time every part of the day Uh, azan is going on at this moment somewhere in the world it's going on azan and then after that reciting that dua so it's this is like you know this is the time of social media you could understand in in that sense i will tell you like you know everybody is the fan they have so many subscriber this and that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the most loved and he has so much followers nobody else has that you know subhanallah till the day of judgment nobody can have that that much followers compared to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we love him so much and we should more than our parents yes of course after allah not before allah after allah subhanahu wa taala but some people they exaggerate the status of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they say um, ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we love you more than allah no we love after allah allah is the creator and we all are creation including prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so here it is you know allah is saying you are getting the reward ghair mamun like you know endless reward till the day of judgment so subhanallah each time any person recites the words of the quran you know it's increasing increasing have you ever noticed anybody is getting that no no one except prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in that dua also after that ibrahim al islam's name is also mentioned in that dua so subhanallah ibrahim al islam has done so much good for us right and islamic monotheism whenever we talk about islamic monotheism we never forget our beloved father ibrahim and you know upcoming days we going to in the end i'm going to wind up with that because that's a reminder for today's talk so because he taught all of that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught so just imagine prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is re- rewarded uninterrupted there's a like you know in math we say infinity that's the thing you know it's going on endless till the day of judgment wa innaka la ala qulqin azim this is the core of the sura he is the best of the best character what did the people of makka they were saying he is a majnoon now allah is saying no wa innaka and indeed you are a great moral character you are the best of the best qulqin azim means qulq means character so here when aisha radhiyallahu anha was asked to describe the character of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she said kana qulqul quran he is a quran so do you think when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to go out and uh, if he says something he somebody has to tell him no no he is a prophet if somebody comes like like for example if nobody knows he is a prophet or so still they could recognize the behavior his behavior was that way you know he was always doing good and here allah is saying he was the best of the best character and our family should love us if we are good with everyone if i am going somewhere and working and they are praising me if i am go- going and doing voluntary work they are praising that's not success for me i am not successful until unless my own family says they are the best of the best especially immediate your spouse your children they say no my mom is best and you know and uh, your your mother says 
if if our parents are alive we should be thankful and we should be in their duas okay culturally we love our in laws that's uh, that's the thing but we we'll, we all love our parents i am talking about biological parents we should be best with them no matter what age they are where they are we have to be good towards them but culturally what we are plan in our uh, mind we have to good towards our in laws yes of course we should but our biological parents they they need our help and support if in the future definitely we should be because uh, uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a kind of kuluk uh, in quran like a quran he was the best of the best character in household chores he never said no to anything he would go and help uh, uh, you know wives of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he would never think oh i am a prophet i shouldn't do this no never he he never thinks that way so uh, when our spouse are not helping us we should tell them in a in a manner you know like a small jokes or something not in a sarcastic manner in a bad manner they will never listen being a wife we should know how to pull the things from our spouse we should have that technique like you know how the wives of prophet i know prophet was a easy easy way to <laughs> do it right but we should know where where to you know how to we, we should know that and like you know in the starting i would say it's really hard okay for a year or two it's hard but after that we get to read them right we are not putting any chip and reading them no we are just reading it day to day life when we are staying with them so we should be doing that but every time we say okay prophet was a good person he was helping in household chores what about you you are not helping are we being a good wife when uh, like our husband is coming back are we pleasing to them you know when husband sees you he should get pleased sometimes it happens some baggage they come with you know with the i, I mean to say in the workplace they might have a very hard day though and that time we should treat them well we should give our good to them अच्छे से ट्रीट करना है अच्छे से उनको बिहेव करना है लेकिन आई बिलीव इन वन थिंग यू नो वट एवर द पर्सनल लाइफ एंड प्रोफेशनल लाइफ इज डिफरेंट वी शुड कीप इट अ साइड इवन इफ यू आर डूइंग वॉलेंट्री और वर्क इट्स बिटवीन यू एंड अल्लाह ओके डोंट ब्रिंग इट टू द फैमिली डोंट ब्रिंग इट फॉर द किड्स यू नो दो थिंग्स so we should set a rule in our uh, home because why we are giving this example because we want when we get up from here we want to learn something from it so meaning when allah subhanahu wa taala said that his character was the best so even we don't need to like have anyone's uh, you know opinion or so but here there's one more thing whenever people talk about bad or negative about prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam never forward that just ignore that trash that thing we are not going to be in that you know if somebody is saying bad or mean about them we are not supposed to forward that we instead forward the good things about him people will say people will bark like a dog do we want to hear that and we want to follow those things never that's a neg- negative publicity when aisha radhiyallahu anha was asked about how prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was with his family she said it kana ahsan an-nasa khuluqa he was the best of the uh, best character to the to to the people in character even like at home also so good character is uh, part of the iman part of the faith people think you know they do the tasbih they they wear hijab and everything when it comes to the people they are bad and mean especially you know uh, these days culturally they show uh, mother in laws right they are behaving like you know they are doing the tasbih and as soon as the um, daughter in law comes they becomes harsh and rude that's not the character you know here you know he was the best of the best so it's part of the iman it's a, a part of the faith what makes a person islam's beautiful so the heaviest thing in the mizan the scale of the believer on the day of judgment will be his good character doesn't matter what weight i am if i am very huge person it means my good deeds will be huge no doesn't matter maybe a skinny person like uh, you know abu bakar siddiq he was very skinny but his character would be way more so our character should be best doesn't matter what weight we are what height we are what uh, color what ethnicity doesn't matter apna character acha hona chahiye andar ka acha hona hai if your character is good you know we don't need to eat any kind of uh, medicine or anything why i'm talking about medication here jab log na very bad ya mean behave karte to they have baggage in their heart 
दिल भी क्या हो जाता ना हैवी हो जाता तो फिर दैट टाइम दे नीड मेडिकेशन दे स्टार्टेड ईटिंग सम पिल्स और समथिंग एंड दे गेट यूज टू इट ठीक है इफ यू हैव सम जेन्यून रीजन आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट समटाइम्स समथिंग मिस हैपन्स एंड यू नो फॉर दैट मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम इट्स नाइट इट्स नॉट लाइक थ्रू आउट द लाइफ डू नॉट डोंट बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन द मेडिकेशन फॉर दैट द बेस्ट थिंग क्लीन योर हार्ट हाउ वी डू इट लाइक यू नो इफ यू आर यूजिंग पर्टिकुलर एप वॉट यू डू यू क्लीन दैट यू यू क्लियर ऑफ दैट मेमोरी राइट द सेम वे यू जस्ट क्लीन योर हार्ट डे टू डे लाइफ If you feel like you know after a week or after a two week, especially after Ramadan, we feel that oh Ramadan was so good, my heart felt so good, so good, so good, so good. Now I don't feel because we were reading more Quran. Are we reading the same way? No, we were like you know we want to finish one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-सेवन थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन थर्टी टेन थर्टी इलेवन थर्टी ट्वेल्व थर्टी थर्टीन थर्टी फोर्टीन थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन थर्टी टेन थर्टी इलेवन थर्टी ट्वेल्व थर्टी थर्टीन थर्टी फोर्टीन थर्टी फिफ्टीन थर्टी सिक्सटीन थर्टी सेवनटीन थर्टी एटीन थर्टी नाइनटीन थर्टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी टेन ट्वेंटी इलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी थर्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी एटीन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी 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 ट्वें
so they would not they want to drag you in the wrong thing so don't do that so here when allah is saying to prophet what about us we are normal human being we can do wrong we can get carried away in that and do not obey ever uh, every worthless habitual swearer so here you know they are swearing when uh, something is lie they started swearing you know wallahi tallahi just they want to prove that so the liars have to take false oaths to convince people of their lies so uh, allah is saying don't uh, fall in the trap of such people do not obey them so scronal uh, going about the malicious gossip you know here uh, uh, its name is not mentioned about a person but it's talking about you know how namim and uh, namima here talking about you know how a person uh, go the people and tell him that you know this thing happened that thing happened such news it creates a dissension between among the people so uh, namima is actually the sound of the bowstring which implies that arrow has been shot and it's and it's going too quickly land somewhere like you know causing that damage ab jisa ekdam ja ke kaisi awaaz aati hai and you know spreading the gossip like that you understand uska kuch base nahi hai just they are spreading the uh, gossip some people find joy in uh, quickly passing on the, the news they have heard they just have heard something and you know not to increase other people listing the punishment in the grave the other person was you know spreading the gossip back biting it why two things together because though both the things are very filthy this is bad that is bad so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, here uh, talking about you know a person is spreading the rumors he is a bad person first the surah starts with the character of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was good but now talking about a person the name is not mentioned but uh, here uh, it's mentioning that you know he is a bad person spreading the gossip hurtful talk and uh, creating such kind of behavior so uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la yadkhulul janna namamun means namam a person who goes about spreading the gossip will not enter janna it's la they will not la yadkhulul janna so we must be very careful these days we don't even have to walk anywhere because it the social media we have these gadgets in our hands you know things going on on the phones and the screenshots and the pass on news like this and you know it damage the relationship between the people friends and so on so then allah says a preventer of good transgressing and sinful cruel moreover an illegitimate pretender you know because he is a possessor of wealth and children this is a particularly talking about a person who is having a very bad character i'm not going so much deeper into it because the most important i want to focus on the character of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then comparing with the person who is not having the good character and we will brand him upon the snout here you know how the enemies of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam behaved in his opposition on the one hand is the character of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in contrast is the character the manner in the behavior of his opponents it's obvious as to who should be followed and it's obvious like you know who is really mad allah is comparing you know he's not a mad person and here uh, the good he's a good pro- person and uh, here allah is comparing and uh, uh, telling them uh, so we shouldn't fall into the footsteps of the bad people we should follow the ittiba' sunnah exactly what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has done and we learn in hadith aisha radhiyallahu anha narrated that the worst people in allah's sight is on the day of resurrection will be those whom the people leave to be away or from their evil deeds meaning people are afraid of their rudeness of their harshness so they stay away from them you know two kind of people we want to be uh, uh, stay away.